making headlines. The city of Minneapolis doing battle with Uber and Lyft. So here's a look at what's happened so far. First, the city council passed a minimum wage for drivers. The mayor vetoed it, and today the council overrode that veto. It all comes as the companies threatened to shut down operations if the city approved that. Karen Scullin joining us. And Karen, a lot of reaction to this story, and a lot of people wondering what's going to happen here with Uber and Lyft. Yeah, a lot of reaction because it impacts a lot of people. But just because there's a new ordinance in place doesn't mean this story is over. That carries and the veto is overridden with that. It's a done deal for now. This is a huge victory. As drivers, we feel like we punched the bully in the nose. <laughs> the Minneapolis City Council voting 10 to 3 to overturn Mayor Jacob Fry's veto of their ordinance to raise pay to minimum wage for Uber and Lyft drivers. The City Council did what we were supposed to do today. We passed policy in response to the needs of our residents. Yeah. Yeah. And that is our focus and that is what we delivered on. Both rideshare companies say the increase is too much, so they're shutting down operations May 1st. People that use rideshare service need to be prepared. Drivers that are employed through rideshare need to be prepared. This is not just about Minneapolis. I think there are repercussions to the entire region where our whole state needs to be prepared. Fry said state data showed the raises council came up with are unreasonable and there were better solutions that would have still included increased wages and benefits. We should be following what the data says not simply responding to the politics. Drivers at today's vote don't believe Uber and Lyft will actually pull out, and council members say if they do, there's a solution. There's a lot of industry that is occurring right here in the Twin Cities, so why would Lyft or Uber want to leave? Should they leave? We've been in touch by several rideshare um, businesses and startups that are more than happy to pay the city's minimum wage and fill the void uh, should they make that decision. Now, I've heard some people talk about getting a new rideshare company up and running, uh, that is not a thing at the level of service that we need in this short period of time. Now, Uber and Lyft said today that they hope to work something out with the state so they can stay operating in Minneapolis. The mayor said he is also working with the state to try to keep Uber and Lyft operating in Minneapolis, but also throughout the state. We're live in Minneapolis. Karen Scullin, Fox 9.